Welcome to Forte Restaurant. My name is Mark Lieberman. I'm the chef de cuisine here at the restaurant. We're going to be making some sauteed swordfish with fresh English peas and grapefruit brown butter. So let's go to the kitchen right now. To make the swordfish, you're going to need about two tablespoons of capers, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, just a little bit of greens. This is to finish the dish so you can use as you like. About six to seven segments of ruby grapefruit and half a cup of fresh English peas and half a cup of fresh diced carrots. He's already been blanched. And one portion, six ounces of local swordfish. One half shallot, diced up. And to finish the dish, about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna cut a little shallot now. I like shallot because it's a little sweeter than onions. We're just gonna do a small dice. This is gonna be the base for the sauce. So now to start cooking, we're gonna start off cooking the swordfish first because that's gonna take the longest. A little kosher salt on both sides. A little bit of olive oil to start off the dish. I use extra virgin, but you can always just use olive oil or canola oil. Make sure the pan's nice and hot. We're gonna go right into the pan. And start cooking it slowly right there. In this other pan, we're gonna start off with the peas and the carrots. A little bit of butter right in the pan. We're gonna add the carrots first because they're gonna take a little longer to cook. About half a cup of carrots. These have already been cooked, so just dice them up a little bit. Blanch them in water or microwave them if you like. Or if you wanna buy frozen carrots, I'm not gonna say no. We're gonna add our fresh peas. These are also have already been blanched and cooked. I know this kind of looks like a bird's eye vegetable, kind of frozen thing. And that's kind of what we were looking for, play off of that. We're just gonna season that a little bit, a little salt, a little pepper. The nice thing about this dish is it's a two pan thing. The sauce gets made directly, made in this pan, which is nice at home, because I know not everyone has an array of saute pans and pots and pans. We're gonna add a little bit of butter at this point. At this point, the peas are pretty much already done. And this is ready to go. You can see that it's pretty much cooked. It's got a nice glaze from the butter. And we're gonna let that set aside for a little bit while on the plate. I'm gonna go back to this dish. I like to cook the swordfish about medium. Of course, if you want it at home, you wanna cook it more well done or more rare, that's okay with me. So to make the sauce, this is a kind of a takeoff of caper brown butter sauce, but made with grapefruit. We're gonna let the butter start to brown up. What you're looking for is nice golden brown throughout the whole thing. So if it gets too dark, it starts to get bitter. Right there is about what we're looking for. It's nice and golden. We're gonna add our grapefruits, our capers, and our shallots. Turn off the heat, a little salt, not too much because the capers are salty, a little black pepper, and there's your sauce. We're going to start plating the dish right now. First going to put down the fresh pea mixture, swordfish, it's going to go right on top, and we're going to finish it with the uh, grapefruit and caper brown butter. Just going to dress the greens with a little bit of olive oil, it's going to go right on top, and voila, we have our sautéed swordfish grapefruit brown butter and fresh English peas. And you can either make this at home, it's very easy, or come see me at the restaurant anytime, any day. Ready? Yep, three, two. I forgot what I was supposed to say. Uh, to make the swordfish, 